This was a landing page that we used for our summer academy for our teacher training this summer. On it, there were directions for teachers to follow. There was also a document in case they needed more assistance, as well as a video that walked them through how the course would work. There was information on what would be in the session, and then they were able to start the course content here. The course content was broken down into multiple sections. It was a three hour session, so each topic should have taken roughly a half an hour. And we have every part of the session that's going to be covered here. And then we made sure that there was some multimodal directions here. So in this case, there were slides. And with the slides, there was also videos that were included. As they go through the slides, they're able to take a look. And so this is looking at things like positive and negative space, the examples that are here to help guide learning. And after they go through the learning activities in each session, they're then given a task. That way, the learning is not passive, but rather interactive. So there is information being provided, a way for the learner to interact with what's being asked. And then when they're moving on into the next section, there's a quiz. Now the quiz is just a check-in. It's only two questions. Okay, so the score is two out of two, and then being able to move on to the next topic. And so this continues. So now that we're past creative, creative graphic design basics, we're on to creating AI art. And again, it's including slides and videos so that learners of different types can all be reached. There's a task down at the bottom, and then this will continue where there's a check-in after each section. So here, now that we're done taking all of the check-ins, we've gone through all of the assessments. The final thing was a session evaluation. So this session evaluation is an opportunity for the learner to give feedback to the creators of the information. So what was the most valuable information? Questions or challenges do you have after completing the session? And how can you apply this new learning to your classroom instruction role? So these clearly are geared at a teacher, but could be adapted to follow up reflection questions for a student in a class. So after all of these are submitted, then everything is complete from the student end. And as a student, I could go to my grades and I could see my scores for all of the quizzes, including that I completed the session evaluation. 